Hello, welcome to a new YouTube series called Changing Fortunes. Um, I'm decided to take Torquay United um, and see if we can do exactly that, change their fortunes. They've been dropping down the leagues now uh, for a few years. They've been pretty pant, so hopefully I can turn them around uh, and make them a decent side again. Um, what I've done is I've downloaded the latest uh, database uh, for the 2018-19 season. Um, so as you can see, we are Torquay United, uh, and our aim is to basically um, get promoted in this in this short series as a, so a sort of stopgap to uh, before Football Manager 19 comes out. So if we click on the competitions. As you can see, they are in the uh, National League South, uh, the lowest I think they've ever been in there uh, in in there in in recent history, certainly. Um, if we were to go into the uh, predictions, the season preview, we predicted second. Now, when I started, we were sort of down here ninth, tenth, eleventh. I can't remember exactly, but I've made a few signings. We're up to second. I'm not surprised Billerick here up there. Um, they'll probably be the ones to beat this season in real life and in the game, I reckon. Um, my prediction is I think at least we'll make the playoffs. We've got a decent team. We are a huge club in terms of, uh, you know, co comparison to the other. Dulwich, Hamlet, Concord, Rangers, Bath. They've got a big stadium, but that's about it. Truro, I know, are such a small team going through a few struggles of their own. Um, just having a quick look. I wonder if they are actually playing at Playmore. Because I know in real life that they are sharing the ground. Uh, tra no, they are according to this database still playing in Truro um, despite actually being playing home games at Playmore um, this season because of uh, selling their ground and the new one not being ready and anyway that's a whole other story but this is our save so let's have a quick look at Torquay United for those who are perhaps interested in in, uh, in playing as them in the future um, they're Facilities. They have played more stadium, play a short, small amount per year. Sixty thousand, quite a lot for a club um, at this level. Now capacity six thousand two hundred. Um, owned by the council, so you'd have to buy that if you'd like it. Good pitch condition. Adu adequate corporate facilities. Average training facilities. I know they're pretty good for this level. No data analysis. Poor youth facilities. Uh, no junior coaching. No youth recruitment. So. That's something you're going to have to get up if we want a youth intake in March. Um, but we'll see. We'll concentrate on the, on the now for this bit. Um, I'm going to take you to show you the transfers we've made. So this season we've had Alexander Gogic come in on a free transfer. He's a goalkeeper. Um, Fleetwood, I think he was. Uh, yes, exactly. Now, he's, he's uh, pretty good um, for the save for our level as well pretty damn good so I'm, I'm hoping he will be uh, decent at the back Sami Nabi is a, a central midfielder who in real life is playing for Torquay as well I signed him because he's, he's not bad I think he could do a decent uh, job here for us uh, he came from uh, Carlisle last season played a short stint in India played a massive one game um, and the West Brom youth ranks Dan Harding is a left back we signed on a free um, now uh, we needed we need more players basically we had a quite small squ uh, squad Callum Lee is a backup central uh, mid f uh, defender sorry he looks like one for the future hopefully he can do a job he's got decent ratings anyway Curtis Obeng another free um, he looks pretty good as a right back and finally Jordan Thompson another central defender on loan from Coventry not bad uh, it's difficult given our, our such small wage budget. We're already three grand over it almost. But there you go. That's uh, that's what we've got. So if we have a quick look at our team, we are a small squad. A couple of injuries already to begin with, so that will be a bit tricky. Um, I'm hoping that maybe we could get a few more, especially a central uh, defender, maybe another striker um, on loan perhaps and, and, and go from there. I think that's probably what we need is the squad depth, which we don't have. Having said that, I think we've got a pretty good team. Um, a bit worried about the strikers. Rory Keating in real life isn't one to score goals. He hasn't been given a, a proper chance. Brett Williams, a bit of a club favourite. Hopefully he can score a few. Um, and 
so that is our squad is quite a short episode today um, as you can see we are raring to go first game against Concord Rangers here in the Vanarama South they're predicted fit so they're a decent team half the size their uh, their stadium um, I'm looking forward to getting going getting started we can see what we can do so that will be our next episode will be a concourse rangers one thank you very much for for uh, for tuning in for this uh, first uh, episode in the new series i hope you'll enjoy it as i said the aim will probably be just one season to see how they finish compared to uh, what they're predicted how they are in real life we will see we've got two cups the fa trophy and the fa cup um, and a final final game against billericay in April next year so it will be interesting to see how we do I'm going to try and keep the team as close as possible to the save um, as uh, sorry as real life um, but yeah hopefully you will get on board uh, like and subscribe to make sure you follow in the next one thank you and goodbye <laughs>